What do you do when a man ignores you? Or if you're wondering, what does it mean when he ignores me, then he comes back? It's frustrating, it's infuriating when he doesn't text back. When a man ignores your calls, when he blocks you, you're probably wondering, why is he ignoring me? What to do if a man ignores you? What do men want? And so many more questions. Whether your man is someone you're dating or your boyfriend, you'll want to watch this video. Probably it will give you a huge insight into the male psyche. Reason 1. He needs space to think. This usually happens when you have been involved in a conflict with a man. Let's say you've brought up a problem, you're not happy with something, you're arguing with him about something, you may have said something to offend him, or maybe you've just presented a problem in your relationship. A lot of men will need some time to be alone to think, and what they are really doing is, he's trying to come up with a solution in his brain to solve the problem. That's because most men are problem solvers. Us. They don't like to sit and talk about problems like women do. A lot of times women will go into a conversation to talk about the problem and reach some sort of conclusion through talking about it. Men are not this way. Many want to think about the problem, come to a solution, and then talk about the solution instead. If the problem is quite big in scope, it's actually quite a big problem, then he may be distant for up to a week, a couple of weeks, maybe even a month. Because because he's trying to come up with a solution and if it's a really big problem he may not be able to come up with a solution it's scary when a man is thinking because he's not communicating when he's thinking so that's what that means it means he's trying to come up with a solution reason two it is easier for him to not respond maybe you've sent him a number of messages maybe you are acting a little too needy a little too demanding Maybe you've asked him a challenging question, a confrontational question. Maybe you've sent him a bunch of text messages or statements that didn't require an answer. And the answer or the response is more implied rather than asked for. Perhaps you have sent him a long message, but the message is unclear. Do you mean you want to break up or are you trying to have a go at him? Sometimes women send these really mixed messages and it's not very clear what exactly you're trying to communicate. If you are sending a message like that and you read it over and even to you, it sounds a little confusing. Or if you are not sure, ask a friend to read it and she or he may be able to tell you if it's kind of confusing. Then that may be why he is not responding. If it's something that's challenging and he doesn't know how to interpret this or he doesn't know really how to respond, he's going to delay responding he'll probably be like i'm gonna play video games instead of trying to answer this text message because it's easier to play video games that's something to think about he may need more time to form a proper answer especially if he really likes you then he's going to be careful with his response reason number three he was only after sex he may be ignoring you simply because a lot of men will pull away after having sex or or after being really close to a woman so let's say he's pulled away after you've had sex and he's not responding he's ignoring you that gives you a really good indicator of whether he was just after sex or he actually wanted a relationship the length of time he waits before he sends a message after sex is really telling what should you do when he ignores you the more we think about someone the more we can talk ourselves into an emotional frenzy and into freaking out or coming up with our own conclusions about what's going on and that can actually make the situation worse. If he's not talking to you, he is ignoring you. You don't want to do any more to piss him off. The thinking part has to stop and my tip for how to stop thinking about him is first to not expect him to respond for a good 7 days. If you know he's going to respond by tomorrow, just have it in your mind he's not 
going to respond for seven days just do it and then at that point you're going to turn your mind on to something else you're going to be productive for seven days let's imagine you're going on holidays from this guy and not think about him for seven days i'm going to put all my attention onto something else that could be work that could be a project a personal project you have always wanted to do put your phone away you're not expecting a message from him you don't care if he messages you because you're going to fully get into this task use that time to be productive instead of sitting there thinking up the worst case scenarios driving yourself insane and end up saying something you'll regret now let me know ladies in the comment section below this video what was the longest time frame you have gone where you have ignored a guy what's the longest time you have ignored a guy for if he just wanted sex and you wanted relationship feel free ladies to ignore him indefinitely you will know if a guy just wants sex because directly after he has sex with you he either doesn't message you for a couple of days after which is always a sign he was just after sex he doesn't want a relationship or he does message you but it's just about the sex it's just about how amazing the sex was and that was it then you know that was all he was after that's all he's thinking about and that's all he will want next time if you are in a relationship and he comes back from pulling away comes back from being a bit distant do not ignore him don't play that game don't play that you are going to ignore him i'm going to ignore you back don't do that that's very immature very childish and that is not how adults have a proper relationship when he comes back ideally you want to open to him and listen to him you presented him with a question or a problem or something and how you want to hear what he has come up with and if he came up with something you didn't like then it's a negotiation time at this point you communicate what you think what you want how you feel and then you pass the ball to him ask him how he thinks what he wants how he feels and it's going back and forth and communicating what you both want and try to come to some kind of resolution don't just ignore the issue if he comes back pretending like nothing wrong do not ignore it go back to the initial problem that you were talking about don't just let it slide because you brought it up for a reason play that scenario out to the end if you are dating and you're the one acting needy acting a bit too clingy or desperate you may want to explain to him why it's not okay for him to just suddenly disappear and ignore you some guys may make it sound like well you acted needy so that's why i acted this way they make it sound like that's completely justified wrong you are not going to accept a man who will not communicate with you he has to communicate it's not okay for him to just disappear you have no relationship if he doesn't communicate with you now you know what to do if a man is ignoring you and how to ignore him back to get the results you want and what you should do instead you may be wondering i'm sick of these games how do i genuinely and authentically get a man to stay and fall in love madly with me these steps are just the tip of the iceberg on how to tap into your feminine energy your feminine energy is the most powerful source within you and it's the thing that really makes men genuinely and deeply fall in love with you and wanna be with you forever please hit the thumbs up and subscribe button and leave a comment below this video to let me know your thoughts if you have any questions please drop me a comment below this video to let me know what you would like to see next and what type of videos you want me to create for you you i will be able to respond back to you as soon as possible also be sure to check out our other videos as well thanks for watching